I think what I am going to do, just to illustrate it for a moment, I am going to turn on the power line region for just a second. And, uh, and let me see if I can find that. And let me turn off this smart picking tool. And let's see if I can turn off my ground region. And there is my power lines. Now, so when I draw power lines, um, of course, this is scan data. Sorry about that, looking at the wrong lines. This is scan data, and I could draw those power lines the same way. I could go in and I could select CAD, and I could select line string, and maybe I'll give this a layer, call it power line. Hit my enter key, close that out, and hit OK. And I certainly could create these lines very similar to how I did the other one. I could go ahead and click on a point in my point cloud, tell it that I'd like to do a smooth curve, and go ahead and click on through this, and let the software draw a smooth curve. Perhaps an easier way, though, and a way that I think is kind of convenient, is to I'm going to go ahead and close out of that uh, line string routine. But instead, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my polygon select, in this case, to draw a box around one of those power lines. You'll see it highlight orange here. And then what I'm going to do is under the CAD routine, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a best fit line option. So I'm going to go ahead and hit best fit line. And I'm going to tell the software that I'd like the line type to be a polynomial curve 3D. And really, in this case, since I've already selected it, all I have to do is hit OK. Um, if I have a lot of uh, power lines to do, this is kind of a convenient way to do that and works out pretty well. So I'm going to turn off my point cloud. Oops, did I turn that off? I guess I did. Let me try that again. And hit OK. There we are. Um, if I turn off my point clouds, you'll see some of the line work that I've created and that remains. So if I wanted to export that information out, I could export by layers. And the export routine is hiding under the Home tab. You could go ahead and select Export. And under export, uh, there are several different opportunities, but for example, under the CAD routine, there's a DWG exporter and a DXF exporter. You could select what you want, several different options where you could select things by layer or, or, uh, or drag a box around things, and then ultimately export that information out. So hopefully that'll help, and we'll give you some idea of how to create lines in the Trimble Business Center software. There's tons more that you can do. Um, you can create lines in a 3D view. You can do it in a plan view. Um, you can uh, create lines on vertical faces and all kinds of stuff, but hopefully that'll get you started.